Hey everybody, welcome to Eureka Math slash Engage New York Math, Module 2, Lesson 2, Interpreting Division of a Whole Number by a Fraction. I'm Mr. Quick, glad to be talking to you. In Lesson 1, you, may, you might think, well, this title looks kind of familiar, and it may look familiar, because in Lesson 1, it was Interpreting Division of a Fraction by a Whole Number. So previously, we had, you know, a fraction divided by a whole number. Today we're going to look at a fra or a whole number, excuse me, divided by a fraction. I'm going to show you a couple of ways to do that, uh, keeping in mind that our keep, change, flip model still works, but there's a couple little things to keep in mind. So let's move on to our example. First, let's take a look at this chart. On the left, in this column here, we've got some different math examples. They are showing you here that you can have a division expression and a multiplication expression that goes along with each model. Now let's also remember an expression, I'm going to define that in simple terms, I'm going to say that is a math problem that doesn't have the answer written down, right? 2 times 2 is an expression. 2 times 2 equals 4 is not an expression, right? 2 times 2 is the expression. So let's take a look here. Let's look at number one. How many, how many one-half miles are in 12 miles? So here, if we're looking at division, we're taking the 12 miles and we're dividing that by one-half. If you then come over to the multiplication expression, you can also say 12 times 2. Now, when you look in this last... Um, box, what they're asking you to do is write an equation, so that does have an equal sign, right? Write an equation that involves both of these. Well, you could say 12 divided by 1 half equals 12 times 2. Remember, an equation, that equal sign doesn't mean you have to necessarily give me the answer. The equal sign just means, hey, the stuff on this side is the same as the stuff on this side once you solve it all out. Hope that makes sense. All right, let's move on. Let's move down. Number two. How many quarter hours are in five hours? Well, if I'm taking the five hours and I'm dividing that up, I'm dividing it into quarter hours. A quarter is one-fourth, right? A quarter is one-fourth of a dollar. Okay, so there's my division problem. If I'm going to look at that as a multiplication expression, I said problem, but I should have said expression. If we're going to look at that as a multiplication expression, I'm taking five hours times four quarter hours in those hours to figure that out, right? So then over here, five divided by, oops, five divided by one-fourth equals five times four. Okay? Hope you're kind of starting to see how this works. So we'll just do one more. Uh, let's look at um, number three. How many one-third cups are in nine cups? Well, I'm going to take that nine cups and I'm dividing that into thirds, right? I'm dividing that by thirds. If I'm going to look at that as multiplication, then I'm going to say nine cups times there's three thirds in each cup, so I'm going to multiply that by three. Both you're going to get the same answer either way, right? It's just two different ways of looking at it. So over here I might have nine divided by one third is equal to nine times three. They both equal 27, but this is an equation because it shows that this expression is the same as this expression. It's not any different than if I wrote nine times three equals 27. That's an equation also because it says this expression is equivalent to this number or is equal to that number. All right, I'm not going to do these next two. We may look at those in class, but I think you're hopefully picking up the idea. Let's move on to some of our examples today. All right, Molly has nine cups of flour. If this is three-fourths of the amount she needs to make bread, how many cups does she need? So we're going to start show you a couple ways. We're going to start with a tape diagram. I don't know how big this tape diagram is yet. That's the point. Nine cups is three-fourths of the amount. I just don't know what the amount is yet. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to break this 
into fourths, right? Because we're talking about three fourths, so we're going to look at fourths. And if nine cups is three fourths, we're going to fill in three fourths. One, two, three. Now, the three fourths is equal to nine. We know that. So three units, one, two, three, all equal nine. I'm going to take nine and divide it by three, and I'm going to get, in this case, three. So I know this is three, this is three, this is three, and then this one is three. So now the total becomes three times four, or you can add them all up, which is 12. So how many cups does she need? She needs 12 cups of flour. That's a visual model, visual way to do that. There's another way to do it. Let's take a look. If we're going to look at nine cups and we're dividing that by three fourths, we have to keep in mind that any whole number, if you want to write it as a fraction, you just put it over one. So we're going to do our keep, change, flip. So we have nine over one change division into multiplication, flip, we end up with 9 times 4 equals 36 is our denominator, or excuse me, our numerator. Our denominator, we have 1 times 3, which equals 3. I know both of these can be divided by 3, and we end up with 12 over 1, which is equal to 12. So you can use either model, whatever helps you. The visual model, I think, does help you see it and you can manipulate that, but if you know the order to put these in here, then you can um, decide if you want to do the keep change flip. But just keep in mind, that if you're doing a whole number divided by a fraction, you're used to doing it the other way. Make sure you put the one over here, and then you keep this, change it, flip it. All right, let's look at another example. Construction company is setting up signs on two miles of road. If the company places a sign at every one-fourth mile, how many signs will it use? Okay, well, I'm going to do another tape diagram. This time I know that the whole thing is two miles. But what I need to do is then split this up into every fourth of a mile. Now here's a part where it can be a little confusing. I'm not breaking that into fourths. That's not what it asks. It doesn't say a fourth of two miles. It says every fourth of a mile. So what I know is that about halfway through here, we have one mile and one mile here. So we have two different miles. So we're going to break these down into fourths, right? One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. So now I know if this is one fourth, right? Each section equals one-fourth. I can write those all down this way. Just like that. Okay. And then I can add up, well, how many signs will there, will, will there be if it's every fourth, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we end up with eight signs. Another way we can do this, you got it, keep change flip. Let's take a look. We have every two miles, I'm just cording this off here, dividing that with a sign at every fourth mile, I'm going to make this two into a fraction, two over one. I'm going to change the division into multiplication. I'm going to change one fourth into four over one. We get two times four equals eight for a new numerator. One times one equals one, and that of course, 8 over 1 would be the same as 8 signs. All right, that is all I have. That's all, folks. Um, we will take a look at a few more examples and talk about this more in class. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.